Welcome to Building Beautifully. My name is Paul and I'm standing in for Sharath today. I'm at Western City International Airport. He's stuck in Hong Kong. He should be here with me really, but he's waiting for the first flight to this very airport. Um, no Paul, I'm right here. Well, that's not what you told me on the phone. I mean, I'm building beautifully. They organized a special flight for me. What do you think? Well, of course, and in business class, I'm sure as well. Oh, no, first class. Oh, absolutely. Private jet, actually. All right. So today we'll be touring the Western Sydney International Airport. Are you excited? Very excited. I'm so excited. Strap your seatbelt on, buckle up, put your phones on airplane mode, because we're about to take a tour of the Western Sydney International Airport. Get excited. Let's do it. Let's do it. Before I continue, massive shout out to my monthly Kofi supporters. Please do consider supporting me over on Kofi if you can. Also, please subscribe if you haven't already, and do be sure to check out the rest of my channel, your go-to YouTube destination for rural things city planning, after the video. One more thing before we continue, I'd like to shout out Paul from Transport Vlog, he's going to be touring with me in this video. Uh, do you want to plug your channel? Yes, Transport Vlog, there'll be a link, something on the top right, up here somewhere. I think it's there, okay. it'll be up there. Uh, I do mainly videos about trains to Sydney Metro, but a couple of airport ones as well, so do check those out. And I've appeared on Paul's channel a few times, so you should check those you videos have. out too. yes. Yeah, and he's, he's actually been in one of my videos too. Yes. By now, you probably all know the drill, but let's just take it from the top. The Western Sydney International Airport will be Sydney's second international airport. It's due to open in late 2026. All right, so today I'm here at the Western Sydney International Airport with Sam. G'day, Sharath. 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 Like Gareth. I've yes. messed it up already. No, it's okay. it'll actually be good to te <laughs> teach my viewers because some viewers get it wrong. So now you guys know how to say my Sharath. name. Sharath. Sharath. Nailed it. So my name's Sam, uh, manager of social media and content um, here at Western Sydney International Airport. So uh, we thought we'd get Sharath. Yes, um, Sharon. And pull out um, to, to have a bit of a tour and, and show them around. Yeah, great. Thank you. So, Sam, what makes the Western Sydney International Airport different to Kingsford Smith? Well, location, firstly. Western Sydney is really important. Yeah. Um, I think the third largest economy in Australia, greatest, Greater Western Sydney, behind Sydney uh, and Melbourne. Yeah. For the first time in Sydney, in the whole Sydney Basin, people are going to have a choice about which airport to fly from, right? And that's really important. So, we're now um, in, the, in the minivan on our way to check out the airport. Any any thoughts, Paul? Um, excited. Yeah, I'm real. I'm very excited. <laughs> Let's pull up this map of the Western Sydney International Airport to clarify what's going on. First, the bus took us around the runway up to here, just next to the Experience Centre. We got this brilliant view of the runway where planes will be landing in just a few years. The runway is it's just beautiful. Yeah. All the way in that direction, all the way in that direction, right? I wonder how they're going to test it, whether they can get some like high performance vehicles to go at you know. Yeah, they'll probably have to just land some planes here. I think they probably will, yes. Yeah, I yes. mean definitely before the <laughs> airport opens. This is the western end of the runway. See those yellow things sticking out of the ground? Those are the high intensity approach lights to help guide planes to the runway. So 3.7 kilometres long uh, is, and we just feel, finished asphalting on it. Um, so yeah. you don't really understand the scale until you're out here. That is massive. It's awesome. Here at Western Sydney International Airport there's going to be like some sort of a faster way to get planes off the runway, right? Yeah, so, so we're going to have what we call rapid exit taxiways. So they're kind of like diagonal rather than, you know, really hard kind of 90 degree yeah. left hand or right hand turns. So what that means is you can get off the um, get off the runway faster, it means more planes can land, you know, freeze up capacity, but it also means that we can get back to the terminal quicker. So yep. the modelling is showing that we're going to have about a five minute taxi time from, um, from the terminal till you get to the runway, which That's is- very quick. Which is awesome. But what truly makes the new airport so special? We've talked about it many times on this channel. Let's say it together, Paul, no, no curfew. curfew. The, the fact that we're a 24 seven um, airport, I think is a, um, a really big draw card for freight companies to come out. It means your freight can arrive uh, quicker, can get out quicker. It's just surreal to think in about two, in two or three years, this is gonna be an actual airport. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. We can't wait to have a look inside. Neither can I. Yeah, we're gonna get a lot closer than this, by the way. Yeah, we're gonna get a lot closer. <laughs> Alrighty, now time to get back in the bus and head on down to the taxiway. This is what planes use to get from the terminal to the runway and vice versa. So now we're on the taxiway. Look at that. Yep. That's pretty cool. There's going to be planes here. <clears throat> it's nice to see. I mean, we're not right there yet, but it's like, it's getting closer and closer. It's just beautiful. Wait, hang on. Why, why do you have two mics, Paul? Dual redundancy, in case, in case your one doesn't work. So Sam, this taxiway is very thick. 100%. Explain why. It's actually half a metre thick. 
uh, which is actually pretty thick when you think about it. And this is all rigid concrete. So this has to be really hard because aircraft will be stopping, turning, maneuvering here. Yep. So it has to be a lot more resilient. And the middle of the runway is all asphalt. So, so it's a little bit softer. So basically when a plane is at speed, you don't need as much to support it underneath as when it's going slowly or standing. We are going to be the first people, or the first I don't, I don't civilians, I guess, to touch the runway. Touch the runway. Oh, taxiway, taxiway. This it's a taxiway. good place to do um, push-ups. I, I, I'm very bad at push-ups. <laughs> I'm very bad at this. The push-up I did was really bad. I don't, I don't actually, I've never been able to actually do push-ups. Uh, and I'm just too embarrassed to show you guys. Uh, and I'm comfortable with that. So yeah, let's just keep going. We do like to be in contact with the surface, don't we? We've, this is not the first time we've done this. We've done this before, haven't we? I'm looking forward to getting inside now. Yeah, so am yes. I. I think it's time. What do you <laughs> yeah, reckon? Yep, yeah, definitely. Let's go in. <laughs> I was last inside the terminal in November 2022, when the ceilings and walls weren't even done. Boy oh boy have things changed. So we're actually inside the terminal right now. Isn't that crazy, Paul? Yeah, amazing. Yeah, it's so it's... quiet compared to what it will be like in a couple of years' time. I know, it's surreal to be inside a completely empty, still under construction yeah. airport terminal. This terminal is going to be buzzing with activity in a few years. And we've got a couple of lifts. We'll make those appear up as a bit of B-roll. We've got um, escalators as well. We'll show you those. Um, so yeah. Yeah, it's, it's exciting. It's really impressive. It's exciting. Yeah. This is where you'll be checking in for your flight and dropping off your bags. It's a massive space and it's definitely going to transform in the years to come. There'll be lots of airlines to choose from for those wanting to fly into and out of Western Sydney. So our friends at Qantas and Jetstar have already signed a deal, so they'll be operating out of here. Um, yeah, the two, big Australian, the two big Australian airlines. That's it. Um, and we have signed a memorandum of understanding with our friends at Virgin as well. Um, but obviously there's ongoing conversations with um, airlines across the world. Um, yeah. So yeah, watch this space. Just out here is where taxi stands, bus bays and pickup points will be located for passengers. This is the undercover walkway out of the terminal and to the upcoming airport terminal metro station. We'll be talking more about that later. Now here's something cool about this new airport. Both international and domestic flights will take off from the same terminal. Kingston Smith has two separate terminals, so if you do want to transfer international to um, domestic or vice versa, you have to change terminals, you have to jump on the train, have to jump on the bus, whatever. And that's inconvenient, isn't it? But here, it's going to be in the same terminal. So Brilliant. you don't have to exit. So here's the baggage carousel. Uh, Paul, uh, when, when, when's your bag going to arrive from couple, the flight? A couple of years, I think, still. Bit couple, of a wait. A couple of years. Yeah. Well, <laughs> hopefully in a few years, the wait for your bags is shorter than a couple of years, eh? <laughs> yeah, hopefully five or ten minutes. So this baggage um, carousel can be international or domestic. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And um, this uh, gate here would be closed if yeah. it was international, so that people would then continue that way to go to like customs and things like that. And then if it's domestic, they'll be able to go out this way. Exactly. Um, so yeah, yeah, the buy gates. So a really interesting baggage handling system um, in that you're going to be able to track your bag. Um, which is pretty cool. You're oh, gonna be able very to, cool. <laughs> yeah, you're going to be able to track it from when it, you know, when it gets unloaded and, and comes up through the baggage system. It was time for us to head on upstairs and check out the customs area. We are in what is going to be the customs area. So this is where people will um, come through customs and get their passports out and do all of that stuff. Uh, and all the way back there, that is where retail will be, like you know, the shops and the restaurants. Potentially creating 200,000 jobs as a result of this airport. Yeah, like directly um, and indirectly. A hundred percent. So um, there's, you know, just through construction, there's thousands of jobs, operations. Um, then you've got the tier two projects around it. So Sydney Metro um, and then the M12 and all that kind of stuff. But then, um, you know, the business precinct, Aerotropolis, Bradfield, 200,000 jobs for Western Sydney for an area that really needs it. All just for an airport. A exactly or right. Indirectly or directly, you know. Providing yeah. all these opportunities for young Western Sydney locals so they don't have to travel an hour and a half to get into town, which is a real impediment. It, it might stop some Western Sydney locals from applying for those high quality jobs. So Urban sprawl. Exactly, so <laughs> having high quality jobs closer to home. There's a real sense of space here, very high ceiling, uh, natural light coming in. But one of the things about this is besides being a calmer experience, if someone's like a nervous flyer, this whole ambience is going to make them feel just more relaxed generally. So there's quite an important practical benefit to this as well. So behind us, we have the station box for the Sydney Metro Airport Station. 
So yeah. it's about 150 meters away, so it's not too far away at all. It's actually pretty close. Yeah, so a lot of people have commented how, you know, it's a bit annoying that it's not underground in the airport, but it's like pretty nearby. So I don't think it's too bad. Yeah. When they build more terminals here, the metro station will actually be in like, the middle of all of them. Yeah, so yeah. it'll be very good. I've actually made a video about my issues with the Western Airport Sydney Airport line. I'd recommend you check that out in the top right. Um, you've also got the brand new M12, which is coming off the M7 there, yeah, yeah. straight into the airport, which is fantastic. Yeah, um, you can drive from uh, from the city straight to here without stopping. And uh, we've also got rapid rapid bus um, yes. networks, which um, I the think they're working state on that right now. Looking into, which is really cool. Um, and also, you know, we've got our car parks um, and all that kind of stuff too. So you can drive here, obviously, with the M12. Link. Going up another level, we get to the business lounges. You'll catch Sherith and I here regularly. So right now we are in the area where the business lounges will go. Yes, doesn't look like it at the moment, but um, this is where me and you will be in a couple of years time because we like business lounges, don't we? We're, we are high rollers. What, what's your I? favorite part of a business lounge? Is it the free champagne? Is it the... Um, Oh. Is it the putty foires? Is that how you pronounce I'd it? I'd say it'd have to be the caviar, the unlimited the caviar, the yeah, unlimited obviously, caviar yeah. probably. The terminal will have seven fixed link bridges, and each bridge will have four gates, with each gate accommodating a smaller single aisle plane. For larger wide-bodied aircraft, two gates can be combined. So right now we are just above where the passengers will be. So that's the that's the gate, like the gates are down there for passengers. And they'll have this beautiful view of the Blue Mountains out there and also of the runway of planes you know landing and taking off and they'll even have a beautiful view of the sunset when it's the evening we're going to have swing gates as well um, which you boys saw today so have the ability to swing um, you know domestic to an international gate and then international to domestic just to cater for demand yeah, so you have That's that flexibility 100 yeah. percent. some people have mentioned that badgeries creek can get quite foggy at times um, how is the design of the airport going to deal with that and how will that work? Um, so that's why we've, we've installed Cat 3B navigation or it's a Cat 3B rated runway. But basically it means that aircraft can land in zero visibility almost right, or okay. very, very low visibility. Yeah. On the note of concerns, let's move to fuel. Instead of having a pipeline direct to the airport, fuel will need to be trucked in and stored in a nearby fuel farm. Many believe this is just a disaster waiting to happen, short-sighted and foolish. I don't think so though. Obviously it's going to be trucked in, but that's not unique. Other airports um, across Australia truck in their fuel, Gold Coast, Adelaide. There's going to be less trucks on the road than, than now during yeah, construction. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Right? We, we have our big fuel farm and then the fuel will be pumped around the outside of site. And the reason is if we put it under the runway and there's an issue with the pipe, we'd have to dig up the runway, yeah. right? So going around the outside means that we can, if there's an issue, it means that that can be fixed. Believe it or not, the passenger terminals here at um, Western Sydney Airport, which is the stuff we normally are showing, that's actually not the only thing that's been built here. There's a, a cargo, um, I guess, precinct kind of mapped out, ready to go. The fact that we're a 24 seven airport, I think is a, um, a really big draw card for freight companies to come out. It means your freight can arrive uh, quicker, can get out quicker. It's really good for farmers because we can get produce overseas to, you know, Asia yeah. um, for breakfast, which is great. Oh, so that very is quick. great. Yeah. That is very great. I'm, you know, very excited to actually, you know, arrive here in two or three years, check my baggage in, have some food and get on a plane and fly somewhere. Like it's, it's surreal to think I'm gonna be able to do that very soon. So when we open in 2026, we're gonna have the terminal there and the one runway, one runway. And that's um, designed for 10 million passengers a year. Oh, that's, that's kind of like your, your Adelaide's, yeah. um, your Gold Coasts. That's just a start for us. As oh, demand yeah. grows, it's so keep will going. we, 100%. So we've got land set aside for our second runway, terminal expansion, and eventually you know, kind of 2062-ish, we're gonna to cater to 82 million annual passengers, which is about the size of Dubai. We get to 2062, God willing, I'm still around, and looking back <laughs> on these kind of like humble beginnings, I think it's just, it's just so exciting. Um, and oh, just yeah. So um, inspiring to be able to contribute in that way. We're kind of, it's history in the making, really. Yeah, isn't it? for sure. So, boys, I'd love to know what you think of the airport. What did you think of the tour? What do you think of this place? What's it look like? It's amazing. Like, this airport's sensational. Like, I've, I've flown in, in and out of Kingston Smith so many times, and this airport's like 10 times better. It's just, you, you can tell it's going to be beautiful. You can tell it's just, it's going to be a destination instead of just somewhere that you kind of just like, Re reluctantly turn up at like every holiday. It's going to be some of the people actually look forward to flying from. I think for me, I like the flexibility of it. The fact that you can cater for international, domestic at different times of the day. I think that's really great to have the flexibility. I do like the amount of natural light and the size of it. It seems very spacious. And, and the fact that it's going to have a metro service from day one. 
So I, yeah. I didn't tell them to say that. <laughs> I hope they invite us back, don't you? I'm sure they will. They were pretty, we were pretty nice to them. We didn't ask them too many difficult questions. Please, please let us back. This, this was so fun. I had so much fun today. Uh, and what do you say in three years, me and you, private jet out of this airport? Wow, private jets. Private when, jet. when we've got like millions of subscribers oh, and we, I, we're I think, making like, yes. I think yes. we will have millions of subscribers. Think, you yes. guys will be sponsoring our private jet out of here. Yes. Bye. Right, bye. Bye.